Hey guys, I know I've had a long requested update video for a second story update here in my Russian tortoise enclosure. So in this video I'll be going over some of the supplies I used and just how I constructed that so you can replicate it if you want to in your own enclosures. <clears throat> so why don't we start right here with the base, what it is all built on, and that's just craft plywood. I purchased this from Michael's Craft Store. You can see that it's just one continuous piece, and I cut it to size. So that's pretty basic, but it's strong enough to support the tortoises. You might have to go for something that's a bit more thick if you need to support more mass. And you'll also have to cut that to size dependent on your enclosure. Over here we have my supports, my legs for the the flooring up here. And that's just a wooden craft dowel, also purchased from Michaels. And <clears throat> the spacing and number of those is very dependent on the size of your flooring upstairs here, as well as the mass you expect to support. So you might have to put a leg in the middle, more legs along the side. For me, the four legs are just perfect. <clears throat> and the diameter, or the width of the the dowels is also very dependent on how much mass you want it to support, or how many you're going to use. Now mine are screwed on up here, which is definitely more secure, but you can hot glue them if you don't have the means to screw them in. I didn't do that, so I'm not quite sure how it would fare, but that was my original plan. And I assume it would be okay as long as you used plenty of glue and work too adventurous with the size of the upstairs here. Now in terms of the recessed pool, I just have cut a hole in the plywood here according to the size of the pool I wanted to use. You can do that with a jigsaw or in my case I drilled four holes in the corners and then used an electric handsaw to go between the, the holes to make the full cutout. And the bordering here is just craft fence purchased at Michael's. It was this white color, which I kind of liked. I thought it looked pretty nice up here, but you could paint this easily. And it's just hot glued right along the base of the plywood here. So that works perfectly. It doesn't need to be too strong unless you have sort of animals or tortoises that are really going to ram up against it. But this, even hot glued, they can climb up on this and put some pressure on it and it's not going to fall. But you do want it to be pretty secure, just to ensure that they aren't going to go tumbling off the upstairs flooring up here. Now in terms of the ramp, I just have balsa wood, which is what you see here. That's very pliable craft wood. Very, very workable. I didn't even cut this. What I did was create an edging here with a knife and just split it over a table. It's that workable. And it's very thin here, so I wouldn't recommend using it for the entire upstairs here. But it could support two tortoises easily, going up the ramp, two full-sized Russians. And I have, I believe, a length and a half for my ramp, and I just hot glued it, hot glued the opposite length the other length over here. So very, very workable. This is great. And you will have to cut that to, to size because how I got it, it was it's a very long piece. So again, you might not even have to use a saw for that. It's pretty workable. And then I wrapped it in hemp twine which is very simple. Again, all from the craft store. Michael's is just a great place to shop. And I just wrap that from the base all the way up to the top here. And that helps the tortoise's grip to climb up the, the ramp. And it also helps them, or excuse me, helps the, the balsa wood stick together and remain, remain together there. Now that's attached to the flooring up here with just a metal clamp. I bent a piece of scrap metal. 
and that was just used as a clamp there so I can take it off, bend it as needed. And I just decorated it, put a little bit of substrate on the ground here, foliage, rocks. That's the easy part. So there you go, that's how I created this second story feature for my Russian doors enclosure. If I skipped anything or if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, you're welcome to comment, message, and subscribe.